Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate for you is how to remove the structure that we use to age northern pike. It's called the clethra, and it's a commonly used structure that we use for determining how old they are. So it's on the side of the fish here behind the gill plate and the gills. So for the pike, we just kind of work our thumb behind it, start working it loose. And once we get our thumb under it, kind of pop it loose and peel it up. And that's what we use. Then after this, what we do is we'll simmer it in water, hot water for about 20 or 30 seconds and wipe it clean. And after that, we usually wait for about a day or two for it to dry out. What happens is pike develop annuli, kind of the same way a tree does. In the winter time, their growth slows down and develop a ring. And then in the summer and fall and spring, they're, they're growing. And so we simply count the rings just like you would on a tree stump to determine how old they are. So here we have two clethras from two totally separate systems. The one on the bottom is a three-year-old from Three Mile Lake over near Beluga. And this is very poor growth. Um, this is because there's really hardly any fish left for them to eat. They really just eat bugs um, in this system. And as a, as a result, their growth is very low. In contrast to that, we have a clethra from a pike in Big Lake. This is a 48 and a half inch pike uh, that was caught by an angler. And this is only about 10 years old. So you kind of see the, the annuli marked on here, but very large for just a 10 year old pike. That's because there's still a really good food source for the pike to eat in Big Lake. Uh, and as a result, their, their growth rates are, are really high in that system.